the Kola Peninsula, a desolate expanse of frozen tundra in the far reaches of Russia. It's a land shrouded in mystery, where icy winds whisper tales of ancient secrets buried deep within the earth. Here, amidst the unforgiving landscape, lies a testament to human ambition and the relentless pursuit of knowledge, the Kola Superdeep Borehole. Deeper than any other human-made hole on Earth, it stands as a silent sentinel, a gateway to the unknown depths of our planet. What secrets lie hidden beneath the surface? What mysteries does this gateway to the Earth's core hold? The Kola Borehole whispers of scientific curiosity and the insatiable human desire to explore the unknown, but it also whispers of something darker, something more unsettling. It whispers of strange sounds, recorded deep within the earth, sounds that have haunted the dreams of those who have heard them. These are not the sounds of geological processes, not the grinding of tectonic plates or the rumble of volcanic activity. These are sounds that defy explanation, sounds that have led some to believe that the scientists at Kola stumbled upon something beyond our understanding, something ancient and malevolent lurking in the depths of our planet. The story of the Kola borehole is inextricably linked to the Cold War, a time of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. Both superpowers poured vast resources into scientific research, each striving to outdo the other in a relentless pursuit of technological superiority. The space race captured the world's imagination, but beneath the surface, another race was taking place, a race to explore the hidden depths of our planet. The United States embarked on Project Mohole, an ambitious attempt to drill through the Earth's crust and reach the mantle. Meanwhile, the Soviets set their sights on the Kola Peninsula, a region believed to hold valuable geological secrets. Both projects faced immense technical challenges, pushing the boundaries of engineering and scientific understanding. Year after year, the drill at Kola bored deeper into the Earth, penetrating layer after layer of ancient rock. The Soviets encountered extreme temperatures, crushing pressures, and the constant threat of equipment failure. But they persevered, driven by a thirst for knowledge and a determination to unravel the mysteries of our planet's formation. As the drill descended deeper into the Earth's crust, the scientists began to make startling discoveries. They encountered microscopic fossils of ancient plankton, providing clues about the evolution of life on our planet. They found evidence of water at depths where it was previously thought impossible, challenging our understanding of the Earth's hydrological cycle. With each passing meter, the Kola borehole was revealing secrets hidden for billions of years. The deeper they drilled, the more they realized how little we truly know about the world beneath our feet. But as they ventured further into the unknown, they began to encounter phenomena that defied scientific explanation. Strange sounds emanated from the depths, picked up by sensitive recording equipment lowered into the borehole. The sounds were faint at first, barely audible above the background noise of the drilling operation. But as the drill bored deeper, the sounds grew louder, more distinct. They were unlike anything the scientists had ever heard before, sending chills down their spines. The echoes of World War II still reverberated across the globe as a new conflict began to take shape. The Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union, once allies against a common enemy, now found themselves locked in an ideological and technological battle for supremacy. The war-torn world watched with bated breath as these two superpowers squared off, their competition extending beyond the battlefield and into the realms of science and exploration. Every scientific breakthrough, every technological marvel, became a pawn in this high-stakes game. The quest for knowledge was no longer driven solely by curiosity, but fueled by the imperative to surpass the enemy, to demonstrate superiority on the world stage. The race to space captured the public's imagination, but beneath the surface, a different kind of race was unfolding, one that delved into the heart of our planet. In the aftermath of World War II, both the U.S. and the Soviet Union recognized the value of the scientific minds that had once served the Nazi regime. German scientists, engineers, and technicians, many of whom had played key roles in developing advanced weaponry and rocket technology, were recruited by both sides. This controversial alliance of convenience injected urgency and a sense of moral ambiguity into the burgeoning Cold War scientific competition.
For the Soviet Union, the Kola Super Deep Borehole Project represented more than just a scientific endeavor. It was a symbol of national pride, a testament to the socialist state's commitment to pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The project was shrouded in secrecy, its true purpose known only to a select few within the Soviet scientific and political elite. The Americans with their project Mohole aimed to be the first to penetrate the Earth's crust and reach the mantle. Their approach, however, differed significantly from the Soviets. While the Soviets focused on a land-based drilling site, the Americans opted for a more challenging approach, drilling from a platform in the Pacific Ocean. Both projects faced immense technical challenges, from the unforgiving environments in which they operated to the limitations of drilling technology at the time. Equipment had to be designed to withstand extreme temperatures and pressures, and innovative drilling techniques had to be developed to penetrate the Earth's crust to unprecedented depths. As the drill at Kola slowly bored its way deeper into the Earth's crust, it brought forth a treasure trove of geological data. Core samples, extracted from the depths, provided scientists with a glimpse into the Earth's history, revealing the composition of its layers and the forces that have shaped our planet over billions of years. The discovery of microscopic fossils of plankton at depths where life was thought impossible challenged existing scientific theories about the limits of the biosphere. These ancient organisms preserved for eons in the Earth's embrace offered tantalizing clues about the evolution of life on our planet and the potential for life to exist in even more extreme environments. With each passing meter, the Kola Super Deep Borehole was not only pushing the boundaries of human engineering, but also expanding our understanding of the planet we call home. The data collected from the project provided valuable insights into the Earth's geothermal gradient, the distribution of heat within the Earth, and the processes that drive plate tectonics. As the drill approached its record-breaking depth, strange occurrences began to plague the project. Sensors, lowered into the borehole, picked up unusual readings, and the drilling equipment malfunctioned with alarming frequency. Rumors spread among the workers of strange noises emanating from the depths, whispers that were quickly dismissed by the scientists as superstitious nonsense. Determined to investigate every anomaly, the scientists lowered a highly sensitive microphone into the borehole, hoping to capture the sounds of geological processes at work deep within the Earth's crust. What they recorded, however, was far from the expected rumblings of tectonic plates or the movement of magma. The faint eerie sounds that emanated from the depths sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned scientists. They were unlike anything ever recorded before, defying easy explanation. Some described the sounds as resembling human screams, while others heard the murmur of countless voices, as if the Earth itself were whispering its secrets. The Kola Super Deep Borehole wasn't just a hole in the ground, it was a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The drilling rig, a marvel of engineering, stood as a symbol of Soviet ambition, its towering structure visible for miles across the desolate landscape. The drill bit, armed with specially designed teeth capable of biting through the toughest rock, inched its way deeper into the Earth's crust, each rotation bringing the team closer to uncharted territory. Progress was painstakingly slow. For every meter gained, the challenges seemed to multiply. The weight of the drill string, stretching for kilometers into the Earth, threatened to snap under its own weight. Temperatures soared as the drill bit bored deeper forcing the engineers to develop innovative cooling systems to prevent the machinery from melting. Despite the setbacks and the constant threat of equipment failure, the team at Kola persevered. Driven by a thirst for knowledge and a sense of national pride, they worked tirelessly, pushing the limits of human engineering and endurance. The world watched in awe as the Kola Super Deep Borehole became the deepest man-made hole on Earth, a title it still holds today. Years of relentless drilling culminated in a moment of both triumph and trepidation. Sensors, lowered into the borehole, detected a sudden change in pressure and density, indicating a large cavity below. The drill, freed from the confines of solid rock, spun wildly for a moment, sending a shudder through the rig above. They had hit something, but what? Excitement rippled through the team, 
After years of relentless effort, they had achieved what many thought impossible. They had pierced the Earth's crust, venturing deeper than any human before. The discovery of a vast cavern at this depth was completely unexpected, challenging existing geological models and igniting a firestorm of speculation within the scientific community. What secrets did this subterranean world hold? What geological wonders awaited discovery? Could there be life thriving in this hidden realm, far from the reach of sunlight and the familiar ecosystems of the surface world? The possibilities seemed endless, limited only by the imagination. The Kola Super Deep Borehole had opened a window into a realm that had remained hidden for billions of years, and the world held its breath, eager to learn what secrets it might reveal. The euphoria of the breakthrough was tempered by a series of unexpected challenges. As they attempted to lower instruments into the cavern, they encountered temperatures far exceeding their projections. The heat was intense, unlike anything they had encountered at these depths before. Instruments designed to withstand extreme conditions failed, their circuits fried by the oppressive heat. The intense heat wasn't just a technical challenge, it was a scientific enigma. Existing models of the Earth's geothermal gradient, the rate at which temperature increases with depth, couldn't account for such extreme temperatures at this depth. The discovery forced geologists to rethink their understanding of the Earth's internal heat engine and the processes that drive it. Theories abounded, attempting to explain the anomaly. Some speculated that the drilling had intersected a magma plume, a column of molten rock rising from the Earth's mantle. Others suggested that the heat was generated by radioactive decay within the rocks themselves. Whatever the cause, the intense heat posed a significant obstacle to further exploration of the cavern. Despite the challenges posed by the extreme temperatures, the team at Kola pressed on, determined to learn more about this hidden realm they had uncovered. They lowered a series of instruments into the borehole, hoping to gather data about the cavern's size, shape, and composition. Among these instruments was a highly sensitive microphone designed to capture the subtle sounds of geological processes deep within the Earth. What they recorded, however, was far from the expected rumblings of tectonic plates or the movement of magma. The faint eerie sounds that emanated from the depths sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned scientists. They were unlike anything ever recorded before, defying easy explanation. Some described the sounds as resembling human screams, while others heard the murmur of countless voices, as if the earth itself were whispering its secrets. The recordings, quickly dubbed the sounds from hell, sent shockwaves through the scientific community and ignited a firestorm of speculation in the media. Were these the sounds of geological processes, distorted and amplified by the unique acoustic properties of the cavern? Or could they be something more? Something that hinted at the existence of a realm beyond human comprehension, a realm that had remained hidden for eons in the depths of our planet. The sounds captured on tape deep within the Kola borehole were unlike anything ever heard before. A cacophony of groans, hisses, and what sounded eerily like human screams echoed from the depths, defying easy explanation. The scientists, initially skeptical, found themselves drawn to the recordings, their rational minds struggling to reconcile the data with their understanding of the natural world. Rumors of the recordings spread like wildfire through the closely guarded facility. The scientific team, sworn to secrecy, found themselves bombarded with questions from colleagues, their initial excitement tempered by a growing sense of unease. What had they stumbled upon in the depths of the earth? Was it merely a strange acoustic phenomenon or something more sinister? The recordings, played back at various speeds and frequencies, revealed a haunting, almost melodic quality to the sounds. Patterns emerged, hinting at a structure, a language perhaps that defied translation. Some of the scientists, their imaginations running wild, began to speculate about the possibility of encountering an unknown intelligence, a subterranean civilization hidden for millennia in the bowels of the Earth. News of the sounds from hell, as they were quickly dubbed by the media, spread like wildfire across the globe. The story, fueled by sensationalized reporting and a healthy dose of Cold War paranoia, captured the public's imagination. 
religious groups saw the recordings as proof of hellfire and damnation, while conspiracy theorists spun tales of secret government experiments gone wrong. The scientific community, initially dismissive, found itself grappling with the implications of the recordings. Geologists struggled to explain the sounds through natural phenomena, while biologists pondered the possibility of life existing in such extreme environments. The recordings had touched a nerve, blurring the lines between science and the supernatural reason and superstition. The sounds from hell became a cultural phenomenon, inspiring countless books, movies, and songs. The recordings, often manipulated and amplified for dramatic effect, became a staple of paranormal documentaries and late-night radio shows. Section 3. The Legend Spreads As the story of the sounds from hell spread, it became increasingly difficult to separate fact from fiction. Each retelling of the tale added new layers of embellishment, transforming the scientific endeavor into a modern-day myth. The recordings, often presented as irrefutable evidence of the supernatural, became a cultural touchstone, a symbol of the unknown and the unknowable. Word of mouth, fueled by fear and fascination, proved to be a powerful tool for shaping public perception. The story of the Kola borehole became a cautionary tale, a reminder that some things are best left undisturbed. The Earth, once viewed as a source of life and sustenance, took on a more sinister aspect, its depths harboring secrets that humanity was not meant to uncover. Section 4. Seeking Answers Despite the widespread belief in the supernatural origins of the sounds from hell, a small group of scientists and skeptics remained unconvinced. They argued that the recordings, while undeniably strange, could be explained through natural phenomena such as seismic activity, geothermal vents, or the movement of gases within the Earth's crust. Geologists pointed to the Kola Peninsula's location on a tectonically active region, arguing that the sounds could be the result of subterranean movements deep within the Earth's crust. Audio engineers, analyzing the recordings, suggested that the sounds might be distorted and amplified by the unique acoustic properties of the borehole itself, creating an echo chamber effect that could transform even mundane sounds into something eerie and unsettling. While the true nature of the sounds from hell remains a subject of debate, the quest to understand this enigmatic phenomenon continues. Scientists, armed with advanced technology and a healthy dose of skepticism, are revisiting the data from the Kola borehole, hoping to shed light on one of the most enduring mysteries of our time. Section 1. Media Frenzy The sounds from hell didn't stay confined to the scientific community for long. The story, with its potent blend of scientific ambition and chilling mystery, proved irresistible to the media. Newspapers around the world ran headlines screaming of Soviet scientists breaching the gates of hell, their articles peppered with terrifying descriptions of the recordings and speculation about their origins. Radio broadcasts crackled with dramatic retellings of the tale, each punctuated by snippets of the bone-chilling audio, amplified for maximum effect. The sounds from hell became a global phenomenon, spreading like wildfire through the airwaves, capturing the imaginations of millions and sparking fervent discussions around dinner tables and water coolers. Television, still in its relative infancy as a mass medium, seized upon the story, recognizing its potential to captivate audiences. Images of the desolate Kola Peninsula, the imposing drilling rig, and the faces of grim-faced scientists filled television screens, accompanied by dramatic narration and ominous background music. The visual and auditory elements combined to create a potent cocktail of fear and fascination, solidifying the sounds from hell in the public consciousness. As technology advanced, the legend of the Kola borehole found new life in the burgeoning digital age. Early internet forums buzzed with discussions about the recordings, with users sharing their interpretations of the sounds, debating their authenticity and weaving elaborate conspiracy theories. The sounds from hell became a viral sensation spreading from computer to computer, transcending geographical boundaries with ease. Websites dedicated to the paranormal popped up, their pages adorned with grainy images of the Kola borehole, audio clips of the recordings, and lurid accounts of the alleged events. 
these digital spaces became echo chambers, amplifying the most sensationalized versions of the story and attracting a growing community of believers eager to delve into the mysteries of the unknown. Social media platforms provided fertile ground for the legend to flourish. The Sounds from Hell became a shareable piece of digital lore, passed from user to user, accompanied by captions expressing fear, disbelief, or morbid curiosity. The story, stripped of its scientific context, morphed into a piece of modern folklore, a cautionary tale whispered across the digital ether. The Sounds from Hell ignited a global debate about the nature of belief and the limits of human knowledge. While some readily embraced the supernatural explanations offered by religious groups and paranormal enthusiasts, others remained skeptical, demanding scientific evidence to support the extraordinary claims. The story tapped into a deep-seated human fascination with the unknown, the allure of mysteries that challenge our understanding of the world. For some, the sounds from hell provided a sense of wonder, a glimpse into a realm beyond the mundane. For others, it served as a stark reminder of the power of fear and the human tendency to seek explanations for the unexplainable. The debate raged on, fueled by a lack of definitive answers and the inherent difficulty of proving or disproving the existence of the supernatural. The sounds from hell became a cultural Rorschach test, a blank canvas onto which people projected their own beliefs, fears, and interpretations. The enduring legacy of the sounds from hell lies not just in the recordings themselves, but in the power of the story they inspired. The tale of the Kola borehole, with its blend of scientific ambition, chilling mystery, and tantalizing hints of the supernatural, tapped into a universal human fascination with the unknown. The story spread through human networks, carried by word of mouth, amplified by the media, and shared endlessly in the digital age. It transcended cultural and linguistic barriers, resonating with people from all walks of life, reminding us of the power of a good story to capture our imaginations and linger in our collective memory. The sounds from hell became a modern myth, a cautionary tale whispered around the globe, a reminder that some mysteries are best left unsolved. The story, regardless of its veracity, continues to fascinate, frighten, and inspire, reminding us of the enduring power of storytelling to shape our perceptions of the world and ourselves. As the legend of the sounds from hell reached its peak, a small but determined group of skeptics and scientists set out to uncover the truth behind the terrifying recordings. Armed with logic, scientific methods, and a healthy dose of skepticism, they meticulously dissected the claims analyzed the evidence, and sought out alternative explanations for the chilling audio. Their investigation revealed a series of inconsistencies and red flags that cast serious doubt on the authenticity of the recordings. Analysis of the audio revealed unnatural repetitions and edits, suggesting that the sounds were not a continuous recording but rather a carefully constructed compilation. Furthermore, experts in acoustics and geophysics pointed out that the sounds lacked the characteristics one would expect from genuine subterranean recordings. The search for the true source of the sounds from hell led investigators to an unexpected place, the world of cinema. They discovered striking similarities between the Cola borehole recordings and sound effects used in a 1972 Italian horror film, Barren Blood. The film, known for its chilling sound design, featured scenes of torture and suffering, with audio effects that bore an uncanny resemblance to the alleged sounds from the depths of the earth. The revelation that the sounds from hell were likely lifted from a horror film sent shockwaves through the paranormal community and beyond. The story, which had captivated the world with its blend of scientific ambition and supernatural dread, unraveled, exposing the power of misinformation and the human capacity for self-deception. The debunking of the sounds from hell highlighted the crucial role of critical thinking and media literacy in an age of information overload. The story's rapid spread and widespread acceptance were fueled by a perfect storm of factors, including Cold War anxieties, a fascination with the unknown, and the tendency for sensationalized reporting to overshadow factual accuracy. The legend of the Cola borehole demonstrated how easily misinformation can spread. 
particularly when it aligns with existing beliefs or taps into primal fears. The story, passed from person to person, embellished with each retelling, took on a life of its own, morphing from a scientific curiosity into a cautionary tale about the dangers of disturbing the unknown. The rise of the internet and social media has created an environment where misinformation can spread with unprecedented speed and reach. In the digital age, anyone can become a publisher, sharing their thoughts and beliefs with a global audience. While this democratization of information has its benefits, it also presents new challenges in discerning truth from falsehood. The debunking of the sounds from hell serves as a potent reminder of the importance of verifying information, considering multiple perspectives, and approaching extraordinary claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. Despite the debunking of the sounds from hell, the story continues to hold a certain allure, a testament to the enduring human fascination with the unknown and the desire to find meaning in a complex and often chaotic world. The story's appeal lies not just in its elements of horror and suspense, but also in its exploration of deeper questions about the nature of reality, the limits of human knowledge, and the possibility of something beyond our comprehension. For some, Belief in the supernatural offers a sense of comfort, a way of making sense of the unpredictable and the unexplainable. It can provide a framework for understanding death, loss, and the mysteries of the universe. Belief in a higher power, in supernatural forces, or in an afterlife can offer solace, purpose, and hope in the face of adversity. The human brain is wired to seek patterns and find meaning, even in random events. This tendency, known as apophenia, can lead us to perceive connections and significance where none exist. It is this same tendency that allows us to appreciate art, music, and storytelling, but it can also lead us down paths of superstition, conspiracy theories, and unfounded beliefs. The enduring appeal of the sounds from hell, even in the face of compelling evidence to the contrary, speaks to the power of belief and the human need to find meaning in a universe that often seems indifferent to our existence. The Kola Super Deep Borehole, once a symbol of Soviet ambition and scientific progress, now stands as a silent monument to a myth that captured the world's imagination. The sounds from hell, though debunked, continue to echo through popular culture, inspiring countless books, films, and works of art. The story serves as a reminder of the power of a good yarn and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. Despite the shadow cast by the sounds from hell hoax, the Kola Superdeep Borehole remains a remarkable feat of engineering and a testament to human curiosity. The project yielded valuable scientific data, providing insights into the Earth's composition, geothermal gradient, and the challenges of deep earth drilling. The lessons learned from Kola continue to inform modern drilling projects and contribute to our understanding of our planet. The story of the sounds from hell serves as a valuable reminder of the importance of critical thinking, media literacy, and the need to approach extraordinary claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. It also highlights the power of storytelling and the ways in which myths and legends can shape our understanding of the world. The Kola Super Deep Borehole stands as a silent testament to the insatiable human thirst for knowledge, a monument to both the triumphs and pitfalls of scientific exploration. It's a stark reminder that the pursuit of understanding is not always linear, often fraught with unexpected detours into the realms of myth and misinformation. The sounds from hell, though ultimately debunked, have become an inseparable part of the Kola legacy, a cautionary tale woven into the fabric of its scientific narrative. The story of the Kola borehole is a tapestry woven from threads of scientific ambition, Cold War rivalry, and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. It's a story that highlights the power of both reason and imagination, reminding us that the quest for knowledge is often a delicate dance between skepticism and open-mindedness. The sounds from hell, though a fabrication, serve as a valuable reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the need to approach extraordinary claims with a discerning eye. The enduring legacy of the Kola borehole lies not just in the scientific data it yielded, but also in the way the story captured the global imagination, sparking conversations about the nature of belief, the limits of human understanding, 
and the possibility of something beyond our current comprehension. The sounds from hell may have been a myth, but the story itself, like all good myths, continues to resonate, prompting us to question, to wonder, and to explore the world around us with a sense of curiosity and awe. The story of the Kola borehole is ultimately a story about the human spirit, the relentless drive to explore, to discover, and to push the boundaries of what we think we know. While the sounds from hell may have been a detour into the realm of myth and misinformation, the quest that led to their creation, the desire to delve deeper into the Earth's mysteries, is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity. The Kola Super Deep Borehole stands as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is an ongoing journey, not a destination. It's a journey that requires courage, ingenuity, and a willingness to challenge assumptions. It's a journey that can lead us to unexpected discoveries, profound insights, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit. The spirit of exploration that drove the Kola Project lives on in countless scientific endeavors around the world, from the depths of the oceans to the farthest reaches of space. Scientists, engineers, and explorers continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge, driven by the same insatiable curiosity that led a team of Soviet scientists to drill deeper into the Earth than ever before. The Kola borehole, though a physical testament to human ambition, also serves as a metaphor for the vast uncharted territories that lie within and beyond our grasp. Just as the Earth holds secrets hidden deep beneath its surface, so too do our own minds and the universe itself hold mysteries that we are only beginning to glimpse. The exploration of consciousness, the nature of reality, and the origins of the universe are just a few of the profound questions that continue to captivate scientists, philosophers, and explorers of all kinds. The search for answers to these questions is a journey that takes us beyond the physical world and into the realms of thought, imagination, and the very essence of what it means to be human. The Kola borehole, with its legacy of scientific discovery and mythical allure, serves as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is a collective human endeavor. It's a pursuit that transcends borders, cultures, and belief systems, uniting us in a shared quest to understand the world around us and our place within it. As we stand on the precipice of new discoveries, armed with ever-advancing technology and an insatiable thirst for knowledge, the story of the Kola borehole serves as both a cautionary tale and a source of inspiration. It reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is not without its pitfalls, that misinformation and unfounded beliefs can easily take root in the fertile ground of fear and uncertainty. Yet the enduring legacy of the Kola borehole lies not in the myth of the sounds from hell, but in the very human desire to explore, to question, and to never stop seeking answers to the universe's most profound mysteries. It's a legacy that belongs to all of us, a reminder that the spirit of exploration lives on, urging us to look beyond the familiar, to challenge assumptions, and to embrace the unknown with a sense of wonder and a thirst for discovery. The universe, with its infinite expanse and boundless mysteries, awaits. The story of the Kola borehole, a tale of scientific ambition, human fallibility, and the enduring power of imagination, serves as a beacon, guiding us forward on our own journeys of exploration and discovery. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more explorations into the unknown.